So at the end of Attack on Titan, Mikasa never stopped visiting Eren's grave, but in one scene, she had a child and a husband, which begs the question, just who did Mikasa marry? Attack on Titan is full of mysteries, and the fact that Isayama doesn't acknowledge them or even give hints doesn't help either. One mystery that's been bugging fans for the longest time has been after the ending of the series where we were shown a time lapse of the world after Eren died. Well, there are a lot of theories that popped up and a lot of you argued in my shorts about what it really is. So for the last time, we're going to figure out who really did Mikasa marry or is she even married in the first place? The first likely candidate is, of course, our ever-loving horse creature Jean. Jean has had a crush on Mikasa for the longest time and it just so happens the silhouette and the body shape of the person matches his. This outfit also matches what he wore when it infiltrated Marley where he was seen wearing a grayish black suit with the same color fedora. The hair color in the anime also resembles his. Another thing is that if you look closer at the frame where Mikasa was on her deathbed, the first thing that might have caught your eye is Eren's scarf. But if you look closer into her hands, it seems like there's something silver wrapped around her ring finger on her left hand, which is the right hand for us. However, one thing that totally just destroys this argument is again the fact that Mikasa is still wearing Eren's scarf. I mean, if you were her husband and she was still wearing the scarf of her ex-world ending boyfriend gave her it might make things a little awkward not only that but there's another important clue that most of you might not have seen when mikasa gave Aaron the rose in the manga you could see that there was a bandage wrapped around her arm this bandage covers the symbol of her mother's clan and the only moment her mother said she could reveal it was when she would pass it on to her child but she never did because when she gave Aaron the rose she was already old up until this point, Mikasa's entire character trait still screams Eren Jaeger. An interesting fact that I found while researching is that a person in Korra said that even the amount of flowers Mikasa placed on Eren's grave had some symbolism of her love for him. You can actually confirm this when you search it up because four roses really does mean unchanging and constant love and that she placed that exact amount on Eren's grave when she was still young. The last rose she gave when she was old might have also meant that Eren was still the only one. We all know Isayama loves to use symbolism. So with that, we can conclude that the man that was with her might have just been Armin, seeing as they have the same hair color, and his hair might have just been longer. So what about the child? Well, maybe it just came from an orphanage or another Ackerman she found just like how Kenny found Levi. So my final verdict is that Mikasa did not marry anyone. I mean, it would just been weird, especially since most of her lines in the series just involve her screaming Eren's name. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, if you like this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and click the notification bell for more videos like this one.